Rejoice with the wife of your youth all the days of your life. Proverbs chapter 5 verses 15, 18 and 19 says, Drink water from your own chisern and run in water from your own well. Let your fountains be blessed and rejoice with the wife of your youth. As a loving deer and a graceful doe, let her breast satisfy you at all times and always be enraptured with her love. As Mr. and Mistress Kev on stage says, marriage be hard. Therefore, every marriage should, every married couple should expect challenges in their relationships. Marriage is one of the institutions that subconsciously demands that we grow and mature and point to a life that will cause us to be able to live peacefully with another person. As such, marriage at times can feel as the most challenging relationship. And it is challenging because it demands growth, it demands maturity, and it demands that we become unselfish in our ways, in our thoughts, and in our actions. At this time of friction, spouses can give in to wandering eyes. They can give in to the thought that the grass is greener on the other side. Without giving consideration to the tender care that the grass needs to look greener. God, through this scripture, is saying to men that you should find ways to rejoice in the wife of your youth. And in so doing, your fountains will be blessed. God is giving you the blueprint on how to keep focus on your wife. When he says, let her breast satisfy you always and always be enraptured with her love. In other words, do not give in to the midlife crisis itch that says someone is better for me or that I can start over with someone new. But you should be willing to focus on your wife, to grow and mature, give up any childish ways and level up in every area of your life. Marriage is a great test that helps us to become all that God wants us to be. Let us submit to the growth process of marriage and be blessed with the spouses of our youth.